Girl, this ain't the time. There we go. There we go. <laughs> What's up, boo? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the dark side. Because I am back with another Sims 4 mod video, and I'm showing you my must have mods for The Sims 4. Currently, 2020 edition or first half of 2020, because you guys know I usually do these type of videos just to update you um, the mods that I currently have in my game that I can't live without. Mods are completely separate, completely different from the videos I've been showing you recently. So, like my must have money, financial mods romantic relationship mods if you have not seen those videos i'll leave them in the icard or link down below so let's go ahead and just jump right into it because um uh, we have a we, have, we got a couple okay we got a couple so the first mod i want to talk about right now is the can i come over mod now this mod is from little miss sam and it allows you to ask your sims if you can come over well this mod actually lets you call someone and ask you to come over like you actually should do so what you're gonna need to do is you know you go to your phone and i've been looking for a minute <laughs> give me <laughs> and then you say can i come over and then you just choose a sim so because we only know one sim i'm gonna choose olivia and we're gonna like can i come over um please stop doing that thing while well, a few sim seconds like of course you can come over travel to 19 cold pepper house so it was like, yeah, I can come over, I can go see you. And we're actually gonna invite more Sims to go with me. We're gonna invite the toddler. Actually, the toddler can't go, and I kinda hate that. All right, so anyway, moving on. So I didn't know that toddlers can't travel with you. I'm kind of, I know how I feel about that, but the child was sent to daycare. Maybe in an update, can we please get so like you can travel with toddlers? Um, because technically this is her mom. For those of you who don't know, this is the male version of Miss Sims though, okay? I just thought, like, why not use a male sim? Because it's like, I always use female sims. It's like, right here. Hey, boo. Troy here. Don't forget to get your exclusive membership badge and benefits from Mod Addicts Anonymous. That's linked in the description box below. Also, like this video, big thumbs up, and keep watching towards the end. Bye. All right, we're back home, and the child's sippy cup is on the ground here. I don't know why it's on the ground or how it got on the ground, but we're going to just... You know, we're gonna leave it alone. And the next mod I wanna talk to you guys about is the Spend spend Weekend with Mod. Now, for those of you who have, you know, children, uh, you play with children and teens or or whoever, you guys know that you really can't do anything with them um, besides they go to school. And for toddlers, they just go to daycare if you leave the house. I think later it was passion, you can go to restaurants with the kids. I don't think on Dine Out you could get it like right then and there. But however, this mod is by Little Miss Sam and it allows you to send your offspring off to live with a relative, okay? All I gotta do is go to the phone. Again, you go to the social menu, say spend weekend with, all right? So you're gonna spend a weekend with Olivia. She's like, I'm here to pick up Neil or Nell. I completely said this child wrong. Look, I found out she was on my gallery. Don't get attached to the child. She's not gonna be here for long, okay? All right, she's like, I will be going now. Call me when you want me to come home. And the child is going to her mother's for the weekend, which is Sunday or whatever. A cool thing about this mod is they actually get out of your your um your uh, household, and there she is right there. I mean, well, she was right there. I mean, she just left. I wish she was like right here, but you know what? She showed up. She showed up to get her Zorro. It's only been a couple of minutes, but you know, we missed the kid, all right? The house is boring here playing the guitar. It's it's getting real. So all you gotta do is just say, call household member home, and do Nell, like, I'm home, and then she's back in your household, all right? Your child is back, and hopefully she had a good time with her mother. Um, If she didn't, well, it be like that sometimes. There is an add-on for this mod when you download it. The add-on with a uh, risky add-on, dying and aging is not disabled. So if you let the people go to somebody's house, something may happen. Um, if you have that add-on in, you don't need it in. But if you want it in, that's what it does. All right, so the next mod I want to talk to you about has to be one of my favorite mods of 2020. It's from Kawaii Stacy. It's called the Visit Hospital mod. And to be honest, when I first saw this mod, I was like, thank you, Jesus. Because it allows you to visit the hospital if you are sick. And a social event, you know how it, you know how it is, all right? And you do need Get to Work for this mod to function because it uses the Get to Work hospital. So one of my biggest pet peeves, I don't know if I said this already, about Get to Work is that you really can't visit the hospital unless you are the doctor you really can't go to the precinct unless you are a cop so it's like it's it's like what's the point because some because i don't know about you but i don't really play with the 
um, active careers like that, especially the doctor. I mean, we only have like three or four, right? If I'm not mistaken. Here we go. Visit hospital. Are you not feeling well? Are you having symptoms? Did your child catch a cold? Come visit the hospital and get checked out by our amazing doctors. We have a play area for children, so feel free to bring your little ones. All right. So all I do is do the patient, which is going to be me. Okay, so we're here at the doctor's. The child was sent to daycare. Welcome to our hospital, Troy. Please patiently wait in the waiting area while we get you checked in. Take care of your Sims needs or meet new Sims during this time. So like I said, you need to get to work for this mod to function. And you can ask... And you can also use this if you have a custom hospital. So you like you take off, you like customize the lot using the cheat, and you put out your own hospital down. Okay, long as it's like it has everything, it should work. And I believe it still does work because I think I did it once before. When you first get here, you actually just wait around. Everyone's like going in, coming out, the ghost, which is you know not really too safe all right so here we go we just want to let you know that we got you checked in troy we are sorry to hear about your condition and please wait in the waiting area until we have a room ready for you so you get those messages every couple of seven minutes and then you'll get another message to go to a doctor just make sure you don't have any lingering interactions because the mom will actually do it automatically for you so we found a room for you please wait patiently for our doctor or nurse to see you cancel your sims interactions they will go on their own if a nurse takes too long you can ask a doctor or nurse for a diagnosis and as you can see, my Sam was already going to recline on the, the exam bed. Currently, they are bored. Um, they, I guess that person was boring us to death. All right, it took the doctor a couple of minutes, but they're here. And as you can see, she's like, gonna check my vitals. And it doesn't tell you exactly what they do. It's just like we're sitting on the exam bed. And we're going to assume that she's checking my vitals and doing all the good shit that needs to be done, okay? Oh, there we go. Hey, Troy, the doctor has prescribed you some medicine. Please go to the pharmacist to pay for your medication. All right. So the pharmacist can be seen, I believe, with this hat. No, that's the nurse. The blue hat. Okay, here we go. The pharmacist. The pharmacist was the person who was boring me to death. Then you go and ask for treatment, which is 25 simoleons. Take your medication before you leave. If you are not feeling better again, please come see us. Make sure that you keep proper hygiene. Hope you have an amazing day, Troy. Please take care. At this point, if you actually do have symptoms, you will take the medication that they give you in your um, your inventory. But since we don't, it's going to make us sick and head home. And there you go. There's the uh, Visit Hospital mod. Alright, okay, so the next mod I want to show you is actually a mod that I, I've got a few comments about recently. And it is my, my map overrides. For those of you who are not new to the channel, you know that I have custom map overrides for my um, worlds. So my worlds are kind of different because I have artistic maps by Der Cheyenne and Noir Sims. Um, they just override the maps. They're very artistic. And the reason why they're in this game, one, because I've got a lot of questions about it. And two, because the maps actually portray realistically what it looks like in game. If you haven't noticed, the base, well, the maps that come from EA, if you go in world and you try to, like, match them up to what's shown in the map, they don't match up. So that's what they did when they made these maps. I, I, I don't have it from Strangerville. I don't play with Strangerville. But I do have a majority of the worlds. I have like Sulani and Brightchester. As you can see, it's very different. So you can go and download these. These will not give you the worlds. I want to make that completely and like clear. They do not give you the worlds. You have to have the packs, purchase the packs with the worlds in order for these maps. Work. So I've talked about these maps ever since they came out. It's all over my channel And for those of you who are new, I hope you enjoy them. All right, so my sim is taking a piss Please. No, it'd be like that sometimes <laughs> and the next mod I want to talk to you guys about is the Explorer mod from Kawaii Stacy, another Kawaii Stacy mod and the Explorer mod has your sims go out into the world which to be honest is something we're not doing in real life but our sims can still do it or attempt to do it it's a huge mod and you click explore now in order for you to explore you'd have to have your license or a bus pass teens who uh, teens will have an option for a bus pass but if you're a young adult you'll be able to go try for your license which is 75 simoleons and then your sim will go out to go get their license all right and our sim has gotten their license. You don't really get anything in your inventory. I wish you did. So after you do get your license, you can go to attractions, vacation spots, temporary work, or you can explore with other people. Um, attractions, you can go to karaoke, an adult-only nightclub if you want to. Um, let's go, let's go here. It's from 12 to 2 a.m. And all these places do have 
operating hours, all right, if you did not know that. So you can also go to services. You can actually go to hospital if you have a slice of life sickness. If you don't want to go and do the whole visit hospital, you do have this option as well. You can go to get the uh, license revoke center, or you can go get artificial insemination if you want to go ahead and do that. You know, it'd be like that sometimes. Your temporary work, you can be a local llama driver. I think that's like Uber. Or you can work at the Plum Bob Casino, go do a poker tournament. Um, vacation spots, you can go to like Llama Disney World, go on a cruise. Um, these have one day, one day, one day. And I think they also tell you like four hours, eight hours, tell you how the duration of it. And it's a really cool mod. Let's go to the nightclub because it'd be like that sometimes, all right? Um, I, want, I don't think we, oh, well, they're gone already. The child of daycare. I was gonna check and see if we can go with the toddler, but you know the toddler's already daycare. The child has an umbrella. She's like, you're not gonna mess up my hair. Sis, I feel you on that. All right, so the next mod is called the Graveyard Mod, and yes, it is another Kawaii Stacy mod. It allows you to have functional graveyards in your Sims 4 game, for those of you who know. We don't really get many graveyards. All right, I found a graveyard from Sathini over on the gallery. You guys wanna go and uh, download yourself. Dead Grass Graveyard. So how do you make it functional is you go up to the lot type, and then you go and you, I'm gonna take off Haunted, because technically the mod does a little haunting itself, and you choose the Graveyard Lot trait. This lot is filled with dead bodies, the ghosts of the bodies, and fear. Oh yeah, we, we know that. <laughs> we, we know that. Alright, so there are some spawn times. Sims will actually spawn here on their own. Uh, from 8 to 2 p.m. morning and afternoon visitors, 5 to 11 p.m. evening and night visitors, and then 11 to 5 a.m. you got the dead visitors, which is like around the same time if you ever play any of the other Sims games, like busting out on GameCube. If you lived in the golf residence around a certain time, the ghost would pop up. That used to scare me all the time. I loved the ghosts in that game, but that point, that always scared me. I don't know why it did, but now it's just like, eh. Okay, and of course if you have a graveyard with space, I know this graveyard already has tombstones here um, You can go and delete them yourself or you can um, make it bigger and expand it or like you say You can make one yourself and you can add the tombstones. All right, so the next mod is kind of morbid I mean, it's the mortal mod from Cinderella's which is a overhaul of the death system I did this mod when I first heard about it I love this mod and it will actually be out for the public on the 28th, which is this Saturday So that's why it's included in this video if you guys want to go see it fully in action I will have the video linked somewhere or you can just go ahead and check out the channel But what it does is like I said it completely over overhauls the, the death system in your game okay no more grim reaper no more automatic deaths no nothing this actually makes it completely realistic so i'm gonna go ahead and kill eliza because why not i need a sim to kill and i was like why not eliza i'm gonna right click on her and i'm gonna go to kill i'm gonna be be crushed to death by murphy bed i don't know why we need to be crushed to death by a murphy bed wait is that bob no don't kill bob no don't kill bob that was okay that was kind of like what the hell all right let's go do death by fire like why not i don't know how this is gonna work out because it's currently raining but i'm gonna need bob to like stand two feet back please and thank you sir while your wife like stand no yeah there, there you go there you go. It appears as though someone is dying. You need to call the emergency services immediately. Click on your phone and look on the household tab, then select report death. All right, so Eliza's dead. It be like that sometimes, all right? Click on your phone, household tab. Is this a household? This is household, and then do report death. All right, we're gonna go ahead and report her death. You know, it be like this sometimes. A quick FYI, I did not know this before. I thought it actually still worked. If you're using extreme violence with this mod, it's going to skip like a few steps. But, I mean, it's still, this mod still functions, okay? Alright. Hey, Mr. Medical Examiner. Why is he on the phone? Who is he talking to? What? Greetings, I'm Dr. Anav, and I'm certified medical examiner signed for your case. It would... If you would excuse me, I'm here to take a look at the body. I know this is a difficult time, but we'll need to precisely determine the cause of death and how to proceed from here. It will just take a moment. So I'm like, look at the body. I'm going to fast forward because I know I got time for a lot of pancakes at all. You know, he's going to take some pictures, you know, do what he needs to do. Every sim deserves a proper funeral. Would you like to pay respects to the Eliza Pancake's death and be the executioner for you? I mean, like, yeah, I'm the only person. 
All right, it's gonna be Bob. That's it for now. I have to take the body for further investigation and for the postmortem treatment. And so you wait a few days. You actually are supposed to um wait till the medical exam calls you again, like a day or two. Like some mourners will pop up. They'll come and say we're sorry. They'll hold a, they'll hold a little shindig for you know a wake. And then when it's time, you'll actually go and you'll hold the funeral. It will be an event and it is a rabbit hole. But during that time, you'll come back to the house. You'll have, you know, the post after. You'll have food. Everyone will talk. And then you'll choose to either have the body cremated, which is money, or have the body buried, which is money. And you'll get the urn if you choose to have the body buried. I'm going to leave the video uh, link down below for you. Just because it is a very detailed mod and I really wanted to put it in this one. And I don't want to spend too much time on it. But it is a great mod. You really should go watch that full video. Alright, very quickly I want to talk about the Slice of Life mod. Because it's hard to pinpoint Slice of Life just because a lot happens. You have to wait for it to happen. So while Bob is currently depressed, I'm sorry Bob. Um, death. From memory system. So the, if you haven't seen anything from memory system, memory system is one of the cool features in Slice of Life. Slice of Life is a mod from Kawaii Stacy that actually gives you more buffs, your sims more personality. It actually overhauls the entire system. It does a great job of it. So your sims seem more active, more lifelike, more real. And one of the things is memory system again. It's never easy to lose someone you care about. Bob will always remember the life of their loved ones. Stacy is currently like always updating and always improving on the mod. There's also like poor hygiene. This comes from not drinking water. You still be dizzy until they hydrate or when the mullet expires. You have dehydration. If you click on your sim slice of life, make sure you update. If you haven't, they're on version 4.2. There's skin care, you can go shopping, you can have pills, there's a phone, there's body care, you have phone, you can do inbox, you can send stuff to people, you can ask for money, beg for food, social media, you can post on social media, post about not getting woohoo because your wife just died, it'd be like that sometimes. Um, you have apps you can play instead of just play on your phone. Uh, let's see, let's go to skin care, you can do like acne treatments. This mod does give you acne treatments. Um, if you don't want that, you can take this out. A cool thing, another cool thing about Slice of Life is everything is interchangeable. So, like, all the systems in Slice of Life you can take out. They don't need each other to function. So, if you don't want the period system, which I don't put in here, you can take that out. If you don't want um, another system, you can take that out if you want to. I don't know what's going on my sim, but it be like that sometimes. Here's another thing from Slice of Life. Sore throat. Choice throat is hurting. So you do actually have some realistic sicknesses with this mod if you do get Slice of Life. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on from Slice of Life. The next mod, actually the one, the second to last mod I want to show you is the Bouncing Boobies mod. Now this actually makes your sim's breasts bounce. I've shown this mod before and I do enjoy it because it does make it a little bit more realistic. And you have physics one of the things we're missing in the sims is physics so as you can see my sims her breasts are going to start bouncing so as you can see that's what they're doing if you just you know focus a little bit just focus there you go focus all right if this mod is patreon only unfortunately it was on lovers labs it was free but if you guys really want this mod in your game you will have to pay a little fee for it but I mean, it's really up to you if you really want it. I have it in my game because I like you know, realistic shit and it be like that sometimes, okay? <laughs> All right. All right, since my sim is late for work and her boss called her and chewed her out, I'm gonna show you the last of the mod, which is a fight override. All right, for those of you who don't know, I love just fighting in the game, I don't know. So I'm gonna beat the shit out of someone or get my ass and be like this. Times. All right, so Marcus hates me now. I'm gonna roll up to him and we're going to start brawling All right, so this is the brutal brawler mod. You just choose fight it overrides the little I don't I, I don't know the fight system in the sims is just delicate Okay, this you're throwing punches. You're about to see real quick cuz we gotta go across the street All right, we about to like throw the hell down. All right, let's go Let's go girl. This ain't the time. There we go. There we go Keep kick him get him Oh wow, I lost. <laughs> okay then. You got days beaten up from fighting, taking a good looking can make a sim feel a bit dazed. I think this is from Slice of Life, I'm not too sure. And then you got the memory system. Carla will remember remember this fight. Also from the Slice of Life. So you can see it in action, it pops up for different things. But yeah, I lost. That's embarrassing. 
I mean, that's what I get. Clearly, I was gonna lose. <laughs> Clearly, he is looking at me like, I know you did not just do that, all right? But yeah, that is all that I have for you today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to your girl's channel. Talk to me in the comments below. Ask me questions, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, boo. <laughs>